Today's video is going to be a follow-up video to the previous video I made on how to generate free Pinterest traffic in order to make your first affiliate sale. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I make content about affiliate marketing as well as the other ways of making money online. This video is part of a training series I created on how to get started with affiliate marketing step by step. Uh, where I'm showing you everything you need to know from picking a product to promote, uh, creating a website, to finally driving traffic as well. I've already covered the topic of picking a product and creating a website blog. Uh, and in the previous video, we talked about Pinterest traffic. I showed you how to do keyword research for both our blog and uh, Pinterest in order to know what kind of content people are searching for. Uh, I already covered the blog part in the previous video and in today's video we are going to talk about how we are going to create content and drive traffic you on pinterest if you feel a bit lost please refer back to my previous videos you can simply go to my youtube homepage, click on the uh, playlist tab and you will find all the videos there for you to start binge watching uh, as you most probably remember we already made our list of long tail keywords that we're going to create our Pinterest content around and, and this is exactly what we are going to be doing in this video. Firstly, I'm going to show you the type of content that you must create and then I'll show you how to create them easily and fairly quickly, okay? So guys, as you can see now, I am in my Pinterest account, one of my Pinterest account and uh, if you remember in one of in my previous videos we picked the weight loss niche and if you go on pinterest and you type in let's say weight loss in the search bar and you look at what type of content is getting ranked on the first page of pinterest for that particular keyword you'll find that a lot of those uh, pins uh, content on pinterest are called pins a lot of those pins are actually fairly easy to create and are actually very simple and yet they are ranked on the first page of pinterest and that's why I highly recommend you to, you know, try driving traffic using Pinterest because the content on Pinterest are fairly easy to create. They are very simple and, you know, you are able to generate a ton of traffic using uh, this particular web social media platform. Uh, if you look around, I'll show you some of those images. Like look at this one, for example, it's a simple image of a woman in a yoga pose and a you know enticing headline at the top five yoga poses for stubborn belly fat it's a really simple image and yet this image is ranked on the first page of pinterest here's another one here a simple image of a glass of a smoothie a healthy coffee smoothie for weight loss and yet this is very simple and rank on the first page of, of Pinterest. And as you can see, here's another one here, a simple image of an, another woman doing a particular yoga pose and a you know, head enticing headline at the top. Then you have uh, this image here of a woman in the, in the background, seems like she's in pain and you know a headline, how to lose weight when you have fibromyalgia, seven painless steps. So a lot of those images, as you can see, a lot of those pins are actually very simple images, not really that hard to create. Look at this image here. It's, it's not even really that high quality. It's a simple gloss of, I don't know, is that maybe lemon water and a headline at, at, at the top. Very, very simple images that get rank on the first page of, of Pinterest. And I'm going to show you how you can create those types of, of pins very easily very quickly and if you do this consistently and you create say a couple of those pins every single day you are definitely going to get ranked very easily on on the first few pages of pinterest and start generating amazing traffic i mean look at this pin here simple bottle of water lemon i think is that lemon water and you know lose 20 pounds in 14 days that's it and, and it's rank on the first page of, of, of Pinterest. Here's another one here. So those pins are very easy to create. It only it will only take you like five minutes. I'm going to show you how to do that, where to find those images. And if you can pump out like, you know, four, five, six pins a day, after a few weeks, you will start seeing amazing results. And that's why Pinterest is so amazing, you know? So how are you going to create those, those content, those pins? So, 
first of all obviously you need images so there are three different places you can go to find uh, free images that you can use there's obviously google images if you remember in one of my previous videos we found the target keyword weight loss smoothie so let's just say you would type in smoothie i've already looked looked it up earlier so if you look at for smoothie you'll find a bunch of different images for smoothies and basically click on tools usage rights and you want to click on creative common licenses and what that means is uh, google is going to show you images that you can use uh, on on your social media you can do whatever you want with those images you have you won't have any copyright strike using those images so as you can see all those different good quality images you can use for your you know affiliate marketing business lots of really good quality images as you can see uh, if you type in let's say i looked up weight loss earlier so let's say weight loss you'll find again let's Go tools, usage rights, let's click on creative common license and you get a bunch of really good quality images that you can use, right? Another one, let's type in, let's say yoga poses and you will see that, you know, you can find a ton of really good quality images on, on, on Google that you have, you know, full rights to use. You know, look at this image, right? This is not a, you know, not a bad image at all and it's very similar to you know those kind of, of images and you can easily get ranked on the first page of Pinterest for this particular image so you can find good quality images on Google images and you can also go to a website called pixels uh, pixels.com and uh, for example if you look smoothie again you'll find a bunch of different images about uh, smoothies those are you know royalty free images that you can use you won't have any problem using those images uh, there's another website called pixabay.com again if you if i look at let's say smoothie again you'll see there are a bunch of different images that you can use on your social media uh, let's say we type in uh, weight loss again a bunch of different images that you can use you can have a simple image like that and have a headline and in, and that's all you would need to get rank on the first page of of pinterest because as you can see it works for a lot of other people there's no reasons why it wouldn't work for you as well okay so let, let me take one of those images and create a pin just to show you how this is done how you can do this very easily so let's just say i was to go to pixels.com and I'm going to uh, download an image of a smoothie. Let's just say I was to pick this one. Because as you remember, in one of my previous video, we, we, when we were doing our keyword research, we found the keyword weight loss smoothie as a potential keyword to go for. So let's just say we were going to create a pin for that particular keyword. So you could simply, so you would have your article on your blog about weight loss smoothies. Uh, how there are different kinds of smoothies that will promote weight loss so we'll, we are going to create a piece of content uh, a pinterest pin around that particular article and how how we're going to do this is so let's say we were to download this particular image here click on this let's save image to our desktop there you go it's downloaded to our desktop now what what you're going to do now is you're going to go to a website called canva.com if you don't know what this website is it's basically like a free photoshop online tool that allows you to edit videos and and pictures it does have a paying plan but what i'm going to show you in this video uh, will not require you to have a paying membership uh, you can do this with a free account it's very easy to create an account on canva.com and so once you you are on canva you want to go to the search bar and you want to type in pinterest pin pinterest and uh, you want to click on the pinterest pin 1080 by 1920 and this what's going to happen is you're going to be presented with a with a bunch of different uh canvas uh, that you can work on to create your pinterest pin let's just choose a blank pinterest pin we're going to do this from scratch and as you can see here's your blank pinterest pin that will uh, that we're going to work on and what you want to do you want to click on upload 
uh, ignore some of the images that I have here. <laughs> As you can see, some of those are pretty, pretty much me. Uh, simply click on upload media and we want to upload that piece of content we just that image we just downloaded from pixabay not pixels.com okay just wait for it to be uploaded okay done now you want to drag this onto your blank canva and you want to make sure that it fits the canva perfectly so let's drag this like that perfect good uh, what we want to do, we want to move this a little bit more downwards because we want to have a good headline at the top. So let me increase the size of this and let me drag this a little bit down like that. Okay, let's increase this a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Okay. That's a really nice and really delicious looking smoothie picture. And basically what we're going to do now is just going to add a headline and an enticing headline at the top. So let's just say uh, 10 secret weight loss smoothies. Right. Let's do this. Let's readjust this, make it smaller. Uh, let's move this around like this. Uh, you can play around with uh, with the fonts. You can change the colors if you want. So, for example, let's just do this. You can change this to this color, this color, white, red. This one looks really good. It's pretty much the same color as the as the smoothie. You can keep this. You can add some effects like hollow, splice, echo, echo. Let's change this a little bit. Let's make this like that. Okay, let's change the color of this, something like that. And as you can see, it looks really, really great, in my opinion. There you go. And now we have a really cool uh, picture, 10 Secrets Weight Loss Smoothies. And you know, this is, in my opinion, this is just as good as a lot of those pictures that you can see here. And if those simple images can get ranked on the first page of Pinterest, there's absolutely no reason why yours is not going to get ranked neither. So if you can create like five, four or five pins like this every single day, I guarantee after a few weeks, you will start generating a ton of traffic to your blog and start generating affiliate marketing sales. So what you want to do is you want to download this. So let's click on download. Let's download this to our computer. So once uh, your image is downloaded, we are going to upload this on our Pinterest account as a pen. I'm going to show you how to do this. So simply go to at the top on the uh, left top corner where it says create, click on create and just click on create pin. And what you want to do, you want to click here and upload that image you just created. So let's just find it. Where is it? Here it is. 10 secret weight loss smoothies. Let's just click on this, open this. And there you go. Look at that. How nice and good looking that is. Simply click on uh, write a title. 10 secret secret weight loss smoothies. Tell everyone what your pin is about. Uh, found out about the amazing weight loss smoothies that everyone is talking about there you go and then here added distribution link you can have you can put in the link of your blog the article on your blog that talks about smoothies obviously you want to have on that blog you on that article you'll have your affiliate link and you can publish immediately or later and obviously you want to post this to a board that um, you want to create a board specifically for weight loss uh, like for example here i have a board for woodworking uh, i have another board for you know quick saves so you want to create a board mostly uh, for weight loss and you want to save this to this particular board you want to make it look really clean and really tidy and, and simply click on publish 
there you go guys as you can see and uh, that was very easy to create it took me less than five minutes to create one of those pins you can easily create five or six of those pins in just half an hour every single day as i said in my previous video you will only need to create a few articles on your blog at, at first but once you you've done that most of your efforts when it comes to content creation will solely be on pinterest because creating content on pinterest as opposed to your blog uh, it will be a lot faster easier and smarter as well just be consistent with this method post about five pins a day if not more if you can and i guarantee you that in just one month of doing this you will start to see amazing results your pins will start getting ranked on the first page of Pinterest and you will start driving huge traffic to your blog articles. Obviously, the articles on your blog will contain your affiliate links and that's how you will start generating and earning affiliate commissions. Uh, I really want to say this again, when it comes to creating a blog, the long-term goal is to create articles for Google. This is how a lot of bloggers monetize their blogs and you should as well. But I wanted to show you an alternative method that is not widely spoken about that definitely works as well because Pinterest, just like Google, is a search engine. Using this method I showed you in this training series, you'll be creating content for Pinterest, but you should also create content for Google as well from time to time as this will reap massive rewards for the long term. So don't be ignoring Google as well because this, this can be a massive traffic generation for your blog too. Okay, so there you go guys. I hope you've liked this video and this in-depth training series on how to get started with affiliate marketing step by step. There are so many ways of making money with affiliate marketing, but I wanted to show you a specific method on how to do so in this whole training series. I try to add more videos to this training series as I come up with more updates and content ideas. But that it is, uh, that's it for now. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like. It would really help me out tremendously. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe as well as I'll be posting more and more content on how to make money online. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.